sick of that song wow (laughs) i love it i love it welcome everyone friday night live the best place on the internet for a friday night uh yeah tonight you've got myself molly visibility hackers we've got the video jedi himself mr lefty i don't know why i'm like all talking with my hands tonight (laughs) but today is a special episode because tonight is a dun 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 special Stormwatch episode. <laughs> oh yes, and, and, and it's no better that we are doing almost like a Canadian edition. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So everyone in the chat, whether you're here or live or on the replay, send some hearts down in the chat for Jim. He's curled up on a couch. Uh, hopefully watching some really bad 80s movies, I'm hoping, uh, because that always makes me feel better. So um, send some love to Jim so he will be back with us next week. Uh, but tonight, it's it's the Canadian duo. Um, and what's this is something that's pretty Canadian to do that we're going to introduce you all to, which is uh, a storm watch. So basically, when two like Canadian friends are on like different parts of the country, country what happened there (laughs) (laughs) um what when a big storm comes in uh there's always like oh has it reached you yet there eh uh so uh, it's it's here it just started here uh so we're gonna see if it shows up uh lefty's place in the next hour or so uh, but that's that's a storm watch. <laughs> that's yeah. basically all that's happening tonight. Um, no, that's not. That's a lie. Um, Lefty's got some pretty cool stuff to share with you guys. We're going to talk video production hacks. We're talking short form content this month. It's all about getting your message out there. Remember, we're all about bringing noise to your message, your mission, and your movement. How do we do that? Well, it all starts, my friends, with those first videos um so i know there's lots in my own journey there's been lots of stumbles across the road when it comes to that desire to have the most professional looking content you have you possibly can right you want to become the expert in your niche you want to come off professionally if you want to sell those high ticket offers your video has to meet that standard and i know for myself i struggled with that for years i spent tens of thousands of dollars on different technology that I don't use. It just picks up dust because I don't know what to do with it. It wasn't what I needed. And I could have gotten better results by just simplifying things and yeah. really focusing on those fundamentals. And wow, now that I, I pay attention to that stuff because, well, I got the expert on my team. So, well, I got to pay attention to it. Um, oh my God, everything's different. So Lefty has like, yes. he's the guy to call. He's the oh. guy to call uh, because you've, you've all seen, you've all seen him. Look at him right now. Like, hold on, hold on. We can do this. We can do this. What are we doing? I can go, I can go like this. Nope. Don't look at me. You want to look at this beautiful guy. Oh, <laughs> this beautiful guy. Oh, hello. Check him out. He ha- like, look at this video. He's sleek. He's sexy. He's fun. He's exciting. He's professional. And that's the kind of look, that's the kind of look that you guys can achieve very, very easily. So Um, easy. So easy. So So easy. easy. Like, it's shocking how easy, eh? Oh, absolutely. Like, 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 zap, ow. Like, that's how easy it is. Like, you don't need a lot. And 
I mean, I get it. There are people that don't have budgets for certain things. Like you can, I, I'm still even, I'm a firm believer of like everybody, if you have the means to just go hire the professional, the professional is there to make sure your business is going and moving in the right direction. But I am also a firm believer that there are still things that you can do without the aid of a professional because there is a moment in time that you're going to realize like, okay, I've done as much as I can possibly do on my own. And that goes with literally everything. It doesn't matter if you're doing Facebook ads. It doesn't matter if you're building your own website or your own videos. There's going to come a point where someone is going to come along the way that is, uh, you know, in lack of better terms, much better at what they do. And that is why they're the professionals and they're there to help you. And I can give you perfect examples. You know, sure. Can I go buy a Squarespace website and build something out beautifully by myself? 100%. But it ain't going to be no click funnel, beautiful, you know, client journey type website, right? Can I go run Facebook ads by myself? and potentially bring in a few leads here and there, make a couple hundred bucks, maybe a couple thousand bucks. Absolutely. But there's going to be someone out there that knows how to get me to hundreds of thousands of dollars of sales. And that's the same thing with videography. You can do so much on your own, but we as you know, promotional advertisers, we understand that that next level of like, perfection of what your brand is but where it can be heck yeah heck yeah to that i i completely agree in so many respects when it comes to that um and what's cool though is the the tricks that you need to understand the hacks that we're going to share with you guys the uh, these simple foundational um things to keep in mind are transferable. If you're shooting your content on your iPhone because that's that's all you have at your fingertips, then heck yeah. If you pay attention to these core fundamentals, you're going to be successful. You're going to create much better video. If you are starting to invest in your cameras, but you're still shooting your own content, heck yeah, you're going to see improvements as well. And then when you reach the stage in your business, when you're bringing on uh, professional videographers and you're working with even a team of professionals, it's the same core fundamentals that carry you through. Um, and you're just reinforcing those same things throughout. And so I am, I am super excited to have this, to have this conversation with you guys. So what we're going to do, I'm going to ask Lefty a, yeah. a series of questions and we're going to, we're going to have a conversation here, Let's but it. because uh, it's Friday night live, our conversations are not just me asking questions from my brain. No, 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 no. I am tapping in to chat's brain. You listening at home. If you have questions for Lefty, let us know down in the chat because we can bring those questions up. Um, so you can get your questions answered directly from the video Jedi himself. It's not Chad GPT. It's Chat FNL. Okay. Get yeah. those questions in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's not AI that's going to answer you. It's an actual professional. Okay. Let's get to the questions. So What's up? What's up? my first question, let's say I am shooting just with my cam my uh my iphone okay um i don't have money for lighting i don't have money for anything that's going to take up space i live in a small space um but i want to make the best content um i possibly can so let's talk about within that budget category what are what's something what's a tip that you can tell us for that person in that situation that doesn't involve purchasing anything, what can they do to get the best quality out of their video? 
So first and foremost, one thing that everyone has to understand is that phones are amazing. They can do wonderful things, but they have teeny tiny little sensors, super, super small sensors. And in order to get the best image quality out of the phone camera, first and foremost, you want to shoot with the back lens. Okay. So we have front lens, we have back lens. Normally, when you see an ad for a phone and it says it's 24 megapixels, they're talking about this lens. This lens is half of that. It's probably 12 megapixels. So we never want to film like this. We want to film like this. Um, Second to that, you want to always make sure that you have some sort of light source around. You want to make sure that you have a window in your space. And when you are filming, you also want to take into consideration what kind of day is it? Is it very like, is it sunny, bright? You're not going to have any inconsistencies, which is probably the best way that you want to film. Um, or is it kind of a cloudy day, but the clouds are moving? So these are things that you want to take into consideration because if let's say you're not a... Um, a professional in front of a camera and you're not like one of those pros uh, and mind you, I still like mess up my scripts all the time, even though like I've written them and I've taken so much time, but imagine now you're reading a script and you're trying to get the lines right. All of a sudden a cloud comes by your shot. Oh, but you shot it with the sun out. Now you have to wait for that cloud to pass before you can continue the line. Yeah. And then what ends up happening after? Now you have to rush to make sure that you, you know, get that line in as best as possible so you can continue moving on. Yeah. The other best tip that I can give you for your camera is shooting overcast. Okay. Cloudy day through and through. Why? Because clouds, when it's gray, it almost acts like a natural diffuser and it gives you the best skin tones and the most natural skin tones. Ah, that is a very helpful tip. Uh, I used to shoot in my basement. Um, the old setup, you guys all remember, it's still there. It's <laughs> going to be renovated soon. Don't you worry. Um, but that's in the basement and that is... Uh, pitch pitch dark um, so I was like oh that's a benefit to me because I can just control all of the lighting yeah. um, but my lights were taking up so much space um, because I wasn't doing I, I was thinking about theatrical lighting and movie set lighting where you have a ton of space but in my little office down there not so much not so good on the space so if you just have your desk up against a wall what is the best way to set up your lighting if you're sitting at your computer and you want to do content like live streaming and stuff? How do you how would you say people would think about their lighting? So specifically right, how I should think about my lighting, let's be honest. <laughs> okay. So and you're gonna learn a lot of this on the 20th, but we'll Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. We are gonna talk about this. We're gonna to get to that in a sec. So <laughs> For, for those of you that have seen my YouTube videos, or, or for those that have it, uh, my desk currently is literally right up against the wall. But what I've done was I purchased these LED lights that I beautifully stuck, which is lighting me currently right now. Um, and they are, you know, they're, they're, they're diffused and everything is perfect. And that's why you see, like even lighting kind of on my face, but there is a little bit of a shadow. Mm -hmm. Now, Molly, in your instance, for what I see right now, the closer the light source mm -hmm. is to you, there's actually less shadows. And I'm not talking about the nice shadows that you see with the nice fall off on my face currently. I'm talking about the nasty, harsh ones that nobody wants to see. Like the ones that your your glasses are giving and all that. So if you actually bring, if you actually, and there's really nothing, there's not like as much as you can do about it because it's going to happen. But when I can make them worse. 
but but more or less like you you want to make sure that you can bring your light source as close as possible to you without like overexposing your face because what ends up happening too is a lot of for example a lot of phone users are using CapCut to edit their their videos mm. right so you have to think about you have to think about lighting in a way where you have a zero to 100 meter, okay? So zero is absolute black, 100 is absolute white. If you pass, if you pass the, uh, the 100 mark, that is data and information you cannot, by any means, cannot recover from your image, period, zilch. Yeah. It's like, consider it dead footage. Like, got to go back to the drawing board. You're going to have to re-record that reel. I'm so sorry. You missed your deadline. Nothing I can do about it. Okay. So you want to make sure that your the the room that you're in can also, you know, support the kind of lighting that you're going to be putting in it. For those of you that don't want to spend a lot of money, there are, you know, house light bulbs that are super, super bright like super bright and if you really want to go like a janky way all you got to do is get yourself a lamp screw the light bulb in you know focus it on your like in the direction of you and then you want to know what the secret is so you don't get the harsh light drum roll i bet you everybody in their house has a white bed sheet so all you got to do is put the white bed sheet in front of the light source and then you diffuse the light, which will make it soft on your face. What did you have? You have a Kleenex? I have a Kleenex. Okay, let's take, let's see. Huh. I have two lights. That's the unfortunate part. Uh, but it, there is a difference. You can see it. Yeah. You 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 can see that the 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 shadow from your glasses is like slightly fading. And it gives a better dimension of color between because it's not washing out. Exactly. Oh, look at that, guys. Seriously. Like <laughs> that was that was five minutes and we're already we're already improving, my friends. So so we we briefly touched on the fact that there's something happening later on this month, but I just wanna Wink, wink, right. nudge, nudge, guys. So start getting your calendars out uh, because we're going to talk about a video a little bit more. But first, um, I think Destiny, you need to shout out Destiny here. Oh, uh, me... Destiny's my home girl. Yes. What's up, Destiny? Thank you so much for joining. I told her today about, yo, you got to come see Friday Night Live. And she was like, I'm about all the things just all the things it. just send all it. the things i was like yes <laughs> i love it i love it so um this week or this month we're talking about short form content yeah. and short form content is in some ways in terms of uh, or relative to other types of content that people are creating you're yeah. going to be creating more short form content than you are going to be uh, most other types of content which means the benefit to that is if you feel like you're going to fuck up, don't worry about it because it, the cycle is so quick. If people don't like it, they don't like it. But if people like it, that cycle just continues and continues and continues. And when your short form content kicks off, it doesn't have to have like superior quality video and all of this kind of stuff. But when it does it has more likelihood of catching people's attention drawing them and keeping them paying attention to your content so that they can hear your message so get over that fear you guys if you have that sitting in your stomach and you're going ah, 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 i do not feel confident enough to get in front of the camera i look bad for this reason or that reason if you're watching live right now and you have any of those feelings inside of you, put them down in the chat. Let us know about them. Either Lefty's got a brilliant technical solution or I will talk you through this, but we have got you. 
because we want to create more content. We want people to hear our message. So yeah. let's, uh, let's get chatting. Let's get chatting. So I have another question. We have talked about lighting. We've talked mm-hmm. about using our phone as our camera, but what about sound? Um, what are different tips you have for people? Maybe there's a, a super tool or the like perfect microphone for everyone, or, or let's talk, let's talk sound for a bit. Cause sound is so important. Yes. So, so sound and, or audio and video go hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. You can't have a garbage looking image with like IMAX quality sound and you can't have, you know, your video look like avatar, but your audio sounds just like trash cans tipping over. Okay. They have to go hand in hand. Now, what I would recommend as the most uh, cheapest solution is just using the uh the voice recorder on your phone if you are if you're by yourself but you let's say have like an older iphone or an older android because i know a lot of people they do keep their phones use the voice recorder on your phone because once you bring that into CapCut, and this is specifically for iphone uh for for cell phone users because you know when you get to when you bring the footage to me i have all the wizardry in the world to make it sound impeccable but <laughs> you can take that audio clip and now in cap cut you have audio tools to remove certain noises to remove probably a bunch of things that you probably couldn't remove if you just recorded it directly out of the phone mm-hmm. Now I'll give you a super, super quick, fast, easy tip because now you're like, well, wait, Lefty, I've never synchronized audio with video before. I was literally just about to ask that. All right. So how do we do this? How do I make sure that my audio and my video are synchronized and it's never, and it's not going to all of a sudden sound like a 1970s like Chinese film where like the audio is dubbed and it just sounds like I'm talking, but then my mouth is still moving, you know? (laughs) So this is how you do it. The very simplest way. Okay. I simply, I clap. When I push record, I clap because everything that comes after the clap, as long as you, match the clap it's all synchronized afterwards and you don't have to worry about it so that's if we think about sound waves when we see them in an editing software we see the shape of them right. when you clap you're creating these spikes which allow you to line up all of your audio even if they're recorded on different tracks that is brilliant i love it i love it that's it just a simple clap just and then once i start talking everything from here is literally on point because it's the it's the simple way of having a clapper like we all see in the films. Yeah. So, I mean, you I mean, you definitely don't need a slate. I have a few of them laying around because I do shoot short films, which which I had somebody else bring me a script yesterday. So this is going to be my third short film this year. It's Ooh. uh yeah, it's, it's busy. <laughs> it's a busy year, <laughs> like a really, really busy year. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, I love it. But yeah, no, slates are fun, but realistically, all you need is just simple clap and your audio is synchronized. You know, I don't know if I have it around. It's somewhere in one of my drawers, but there is a, there is a, a a lavalier microphone that was going around TikTok last year and they were literally selling like two for $75 and they're good. Like they're really, really good. So get your, get your hands on those because they're awesome. They're wireless because obviously wireless microphones are better than wired but if you have like a specific area in your home that you are filming no matter what you've already set up your your focal distance and you're good and you're not moving a lot go wired it doesn't it doesn't make a difference it's whatever the preference is and you kind of just want to make sure that the mic is more or less at chest level 
Uh, this way, it's not too high up. And then all of a sudden, you get all this muffled audio. Because remember, like I said, video has 0 to 100. Think of audio the same way. Once you reach a certain peak, which is called clipping, you cannot get that data back. It is done. It is forever worthless. Not here. Like it never happened. Like it never happened. And then you got to go back to the drawing board again. Yep. And I, I've had so many shoot days that I I think I had this conversation with you recently. Um, yeah. I, my microphone just completely, no, not happening today. Um it wasn't clipping, but it's so, if you don't pay attention to your microphone, it's so easy to end up with just the wrong sound. Wrong yes. sound. What, what happened to me is that this happened. So this is what all of my stuff sounded like, which is horrible. And what you can do too, if you want to, with, with, with the clap technique that I just taught you guys, go grab yourselves one of these. Grab yourself a field recorder. You can get yep. yourself a little tripod. There it is. I can literally do this and sit it right in front of the camera where it's not visible because who wants to see a microphone in the shot? Ugh. And then <laughs> I'm I'm at such a good distance right now where everything's going to be picked up on this thing and I just record. Yeah. I pull the SD card out, pop it into my computer because again, don't forget CapCut also has a desktop version. So ah. learn to edit on the computer if you have to. It doesn't always have to be on the phone. Yeah. I used to work for a camera company uh, and we would sell we would sell cameras or like a, all different brands and whatever. Um, and there's so many different questions people would have. Like this was around the time that you could consumer point and shoot cameras were now starting to do video. Mm. And like D DSLRs were starting to be able to do video um, and the question we always got is like should I buy if I want the best quality images should I buy the camera the new DSLR that also does video or should I buy a really good use the exact same money towards a camera that is just focused on being a camera and then another device that's focused on being um, a video camera so that they're they're masters of of the of their domains pretty much and that's always sat with me I don't I don't agree with that completely nowadays technology is wonderful um, but when it comes down to the fundamentals yeah look at the cameras we're using look at how small they are and really the quality of your audio is going to be at stake here but it's so easy to get in a variety of different external devices that are going to allow us to get that best quality. And yeah. what that looks like is going to be different depending on what your setup is looking like. What kind of content are you shooting? As Lefty said, are you shooting in the same setup all the time? Is everything measured out? Or are you changing locations? Are you moving around? And that's it's complex and it's complicated and it creates all of these bar like mental barriers of like, oh my God, yet another thing that I have to learn. Oh my goodness, yet another thing that I have to sort through and probably purchase a whole bunch of things that aren't going to work. And now they're just going to sit there and like, I'm never going to get this project done. So, <laughs> so we've all, we've all been there, right? Like we've all experienced that feeling, but wouldn't, you, wouldn't it be great just like sit with me with this guys wouldn't it be great if you could in like less than a week have someone walk you through everything you need to know in order to start creating that best video you possibly ever could create like wouldn't that be awesome Sounds i know like but that, that's what i wish i had just saying Sounds sounds pretty sweet. I think and, it sounds pretty sweet. I mean, I I burnt through thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just so you guys don't have to, right? There are True. so True. many, there's so many different camera types and camera options out there. Yes, there are cameras that do photo and video, but then there are cameras that are considered hybrid cameras that also do 
photo and video, but they're not the regular cameras that do photo and video. And video. (laughs) And then there are, you know, entry level, if you want to call it video cameras. Then there are cinema line cameras. So the question that you need to ask yourself before going into any camera store is what am I doing? What is the purpose of what I am doing? Because a lot of people just hear, oh, Sony came out with a new camera. Canon came out with a new camera. Hey, you still have the odd Nikon users. Oh, Nikon came out with a new camera. I just need to buy the best of the best of the best. And then they realize that it's like, wait, shit. I, I, I didn't actually need this. I could have bought this instead. So really think about the content you're, you're, you're putting out there and who it's for and what you're going to use it for. Because you might think that you need, I don't know, a two, three, four thousand dollar camera. And then it ends up just collecting dust. Or maybe you do use it and you want to just, you know, you hire an editor and you want to make sure that that editor is getting the best image quality mm-hmm. out of out of your your shots, which is still a fantastic thing. And believe me, for those that want to go that route, you're already like, I consider you in like the, the, the top 10%. Of of entrepreneurs that, I, and I don't want to say this because it sounds bad, but it almost is like you're in that top ten percent that gives a shit a little bit more, if that makes sense. And that's not to say that oh, just because you use a phone, you, you don't care about your brand or anything like that. No, I just there are people out there that are more or less perfectionists, and they always want the best of the best of the best of the best, and. You got to do some research. You got to really figure out what works for you. Or you could just not care at all and let us do it for you. And there's nothing wrong with that either. I I like the idea of someone else doing um, the work for me. That's it's always something I enjoy. But it feels great to know the skills. So when it comes down to it, as you said, you can create the best content you possibly can to hand over to your editor whoa what a crazy idea Um, and if you're working with a team and you don't want to deal with any of that you want someone on your team to deal with that stuff well wouldn't it be great if that person had the ability to be walked through hand in hand with an expert crazy idea okay what is going on right what is going on here well what well these are the things that i think would be fantastic to have I think so. I think so. I wonder, I wonder where I could get them. But before we get to that answer, Stormwatch check. Um, Where are we at? Storm is still coming in, coming in strong. Uh, Let me, let me check. (laughs) Stay tuned. Yeah, we have about a quarter of an inch of uh, snow out there. It's soft, it's blowing, but... I hear it's going to be a foot. Yeah, it could be over a foot. I'm quite excited. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Holy moly. (laughs) So Lefty is uh, in the path of the storm. So I will be able to report to him the standings here in my town and we'll be able to portray to him what Uh, to expect. I'm not looking forward (sighs) to waking up in the morning and just opening my door and going... What just happened? <laughs> Seven inches of snow and thunderstorms. Where is that? Let Seven us inches. know. Holy, that's... that's that's yeah. Yeah, it's about yeah. I uh, what's it? Half a foot. A yeah, little bit ha- more yeah, than half a foot. A little more than half a foot. Yeah. <laughs> Doing math with Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good. Oh, that was hilarious. Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Is that Jim? Yo, 313, baby. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's John Dargy. 
John Darji, we love you. We love you. Come and join yeah. us. Let me uh let me do this. We got like 20 minutes left here. But John, here, let me share with you the link. Oh, join us. Um, so let's talk about why we are so excited um that wait what, we're not excited no i i'm full of questions that's what happened before this commercial break um i'm i have all these questions and i'm like wow wouldn't it be great and then lefty was like what this is so crazy so like why is it crazy that i have these questions like do you know where i can find someone to walk me through this well ladies and gentlemen yes there is one awesome individual who is running a five i almost put up 10 five day challenge march 20th to the 24th where i'm gonna help you attract your dream 100 clients making your videos look like blockbuster films with all the tips tricks and techniques that you can use to start creating your own films, and your own short-form content. Not really films, but long-form. And, but wait, there's more. Everybody in there is going to get an opportunity to not only get their video for the challenge, because they're going to make a video for the challenge, I'm going to personally dissect it, but you guys are all eligible to get one, one free edit for whichever video you choose that you want to put out in the future. And if you think that's kick-ass, well, ladies and gentlemen, I have put together a mystery box with a bunch of cool stuff from a bunch of awesome team members of mine. And Molly, when you first knew about this mystery box, it was valued at seven thousand dollars it is actually valued above twelve thousand dollars worth of killer video marketing stuff and this Doing all happens map with canadians <laughs> i just wow. made it i just made it big and beefy and it's just like it's one of those boxes where like the lid doesn't stay on. You have to be like, ur, 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 ur. And, and it has like tape. seven times tape and duct tape on it. And the second it rips open, it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of those. So it's one of those. It's one of those. And it's, and like, it's like I said, it's March 20th to the 24th, five killer days for those of you that are ready to just make bigger, badder videos. Come with your DSLRs. Come with your mirrorless cameras. Come with your iPhones. Come with your Androids. As If it has a lens, come. That's <laughs> all we care about. So if you guys want to learn all Hollywood techniques that you can bring into your short-form content, long-form content, that's what I got for you. And, you know, the people that are going to be eligible for that mystery box are going to be the ones that jump into the VIP, which is also going to give you lifetime access to the recordings of the challenge so you don't ever have to worry about losing your notes or potentially even taking notes at all. But there is also an opportunity for those that just want to, you know, kick back, maybe have a beer after a long day's work and just come in as general admission for, you know, limited time access. I have been good at covering everybody because I'm just so excited about teaching all the things. All the things, all the things, all the things. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in joining the challenge, I know um, I will be there because I am hyped for this challenge. If you are interested in joining me, joining Lefty, Joining this awesome challenge that Lefty's running, I am uh, I will be in the audience enjoying every single second of it. So come on over if you're interested. Uh, but let's go. Hashtag uh, join, the, join the challenge. Join hashtag, the challenge. Hashtag join the challenge. And uh, we'll get you connected, uh, get you in there. Is there, are we still at early, early bird pricing? Or 
We have gone away from early bird pricing We've, right now. You missed the early bird deadline, my friends. You missed your suckers. But it's still and, there's still really good stuff you guys are getting. <laughs> and <laughs> and I was giving away uh, the the book Give, which is a Facebook ads lead generator. Molly, guess what? What? They're All the copies are gone. gone. Oh my goodness, we talked gone. about this yesterday. We talked and about there this were yesterday. Copies and they gone. gone. All right, so early bird, you guys have missed the deadline, uh, but definitely get involved, get into this challenge. The price is right, my friends. If you're interested, hashtag join the challenge in the chat. Uh, challenge starts the 20th. So if you're watching this on the replays before the 20th of March of the year 2023, hashtag join the challenge will get you connected with Lefty. Um, connect with him on his YouTube channel, Create with Left Terrace. Um, join us in the visibility hacking group. Uh, you can drop your questions in there. We'll get them answered. Uh, we will connect you to the answer if you are looking to join this challenge, which you should be let's be honest five days at 5 p.m eastern time march 20th to the 24th video production 101 101 so like you don't need to come in with the dslrs you don't need to come in with tons and tons of experience none of that if you are interested in creating better content if you've ever picked up your phone and created your first reel or if you're interested in doing that and finally you'll be able to do it with beautiful looking video creating the right content to attract your ideal customers well join the challenge because we're all going to be there. And what I love about challenges like this is doesn't matter what level you're coming in at, and especially for those who are coming in with the, those hesitations of not feeling like they're an expert in video. Well, that's why you're joining the challenge, first of all. But <laughs> the community that, that you meet when you're in these challenges, mm -hmm. the other people in the challenge are there to learn as well. They may bring different experience. They may bring different equipment that they have and different markets and different methods of creating their contents or or um, platforms that they're they're creating on but you get to learn together you get to network with each other um, maybe you'll even find people who are in your neighborhood who are in yeah. your own communities and you'll be able to start creating content in person with them maybe you're like oh my goodness the idea of having an editor I could just record it and hand it off to someone that's crazy this is new and exciting well, these are the kinds of things that you can have answered so simply when you join the challenge, not just from Lefty, but also from that beautiful community that he's brought together. And I'm part of it. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys should come because, well, there is no, there is no reason not to. And you know am what I, else I, we're going to learn? Yeah. What? Else? Day four. Okay. I'm going to give you guys some insider information. Day I love it four of the challenge we're going to dive a little bit into script writing and how to script for your target audience and nice. then day five the last day of the challenge we are going to go through body language and tonality so cool. you know how to express yourself in the most authentic way when you're putting those pieces of content out for your target audience and that's just two out of the five days that's it's incredible gonna, it's gonna be huge i'm gonna turn everybody that comes in to just my 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 mini actors let's go canadian you guys are gonna all become my mini ryan reynolds oh i love it we love ryan reynolds uh, he's a hunk we love ryan <laughs> Yeah. Did you know that Mr. Ryan Reynolds is building? And I, I have to say this because this is this literally came out of, of the brainwave of Lefty and I. But Ryan Reynolds is building what I think is supposed to be the biggest television production studio in Canada or North America or the world. I don't know, but it's giant in Markham. Like literally. No way, it's in Markham? It's in Markham. 
and they've connected it yeah i'm like i'm so excited um and they've connected with seneca college which i think is their markham campus where they do design and media he showed up recently to do a media spot where he walked through the green screen shooting of um like a news broadcast with a bunch of students um ha 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 great media great attention Um, but it turns out he was making a deal with seneca about this whole production thing so it's uh, going to be set up for tv and movies and all of this stuff so i'm wondering if they're going to have stuff for smaller scale productions, like not these multi-million dollar, like, yes, bring us the multi-million dollar productions. That's incredible for, for the community, but for, for smaller produ- producers like us, because I would love um, to do some shoots with you in some sets like that where, yeah. When it's built, we have to go together. Absolutely. And we'll bring John Dargy with us. Uh, How yeah. are you, Mr. John? Mr. Beautiful Things. What's up, y'all? <laughs> What's up? Doing well, doing well. So you have already got the snow? Yeah? Okay. So it's it's coming in here. We're at like just just above a quarter of an inch. It's pretty substantial. So it's going to be we great. Get... Cool. So I had to like go clear the driveway so people could come up the driveway at least once before the plow got here because it was coming down that fast so it's coming down like eh, seven yeah. eight inches a little over a little bit it's coming your way coming straight to yep. you and then, uh, and and our wonderful great lakes are just going to pack on a little bit more for you yeah. just to give you a nice kiss oh it's going to be fantastic of, i can't wait extra lake effect for you that's what i say <laughs> The lakes so, keep I us mean, warm, but they give us too much snow. Like speaking on that, I have to admit that I don't. Not not that I don't. Well, it's it's a bit of I don't and I can't. Um, living in cottage country, I have a fifty foot driveway, so I hire someone to plow that driveway for me because <laughs> we did we did it one we did it once or twice my wife and I, and it was horrific. And when the plows do come. They probably put like three yeah. feet of snow in front of your driveway, and it is the worst thing ever to try and get out of. So I just hire someone. I say, "Hey, bro, come at, c- come reach me and do beautiful things to my driveway." No pun intended. No, seriously, we <laughs> we pay a guy to do the driveway, but he, my wife leaves at the exact right time to where he's between. Like so, she comes back from the store and is like just enough to infuriate and to cause stress and anxiety in, in one's life. So yeah, I run out there and take care of it real quick just so she can get up the hill. But after she's in the house, I'm like, yeah, man, you do it. I don't care anymore. Like, whatever. <laughs> I have a snowblower, so I am well, looking forward to some accumulation. Oh, here's but. the thing, though. You have no idea. You think you have a snowblower, but it's wet. It is very wet. You can make nice snowmans out of this stuff. Maybe I'll get myself a John Deere. And just, uh, I just don't know how well it's going to just snow blowing. Like when it's that wet, I don't know. We'll see. I was like, I didn't even bother with it because it was all slushy and nasty and slow. And like, oh. it's like snowman weather. <clears throat> I'm just saying. No, it's, so like when we look at the map of Ontario um, or like Southern Ontario on the map right now, there's three bands. There's if you're at lake level or below, Welcome to the geography lesson. <laughs> geography <laughs> with Canadians. <laughs> if you're at lake level or lower, then it's um, freezing rain warnings. If you're in my band, which I think also is Lefty's band, then you're in the snow s- snow rain um, band. And then if you're in uh, north of us, then it's snow. So... We're getting cool. snow thunderstorms banned. That's what we got. Snow yeah. thunderstorms. It's nuts. It's thunder snow. It's like it's, it's, like it's like something out of a movie. Lefty, I feel so inspired. We should make a movie about snow thunderstorms. Get out there! Get out! Get out there! I was like terrified. I'm like, what is going I'm on? I'm ready. It's I'm ready for thunder 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 snow. Let's go! I'm gonna all the things. Let's you do think it. it's funny? You think you think I'm joking? It's not. Wait till the war of the worlds appears at your doorstep here in the next twenty minutes. Watch. Watch. <laughs> Oh, it's going to. I'm going to wait. I can't wait. 
It's going to have to do a five day challenge, guys, because I'm going to be stuck in my home. I cannot do it live in person. <laughs> nope. Lefty won't be able to get out of his house. No. Luckily, my wife went to go get groceries today so we could eat for the next 48 oh, hours. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's essential. That's not even a joke. It's really no, bad. No, I know, I know, man. That's how it is. It's really bad. I won't eat for 48 hours if there wasn't any food in my house. It's, it's, it's really terrible. You're going to send in the troops. Luckily, I live by Trenton, and the air military base is like 25 minutes from my house. They're gonna, you're going to see shipping containers just on my wall. Oh, my <laughs> the, the Tim Hortons in, at Kandahar Air Base does airdrops to the base, and That's they have awesome. a drive through that is big enough to put like. Humvees and like personnel carriers through. Fun yeah, fact. That's what you're going to get from Trenton. Yeah, but fun fact since you mentioned Tim Hortons, my town is so small that we just got our first Tim Hortons. No. No. Congratulations. You're a real town now. <clears throat> you become real. That's good. That's I good. know. I know. You get now, put on a map. Now we just have to wait for a Starbucks. And then we just no. have to wait for a Costco, and we are just no. killing it. <laughs> no, no. You start out with the Tim Hortons, and then that becomes, <clears throat> like, the the place to be. That's where community is built at Tim Hortons. It's, a, it's absolutely, I guess, eye-opening, impressionable. Like, there's a, there's a whole sort of, like, flood of emotions for an American when they're in it, when some some Canadian city where they can literally see from one Tim Hortons to the next, you can yeah. actually see it. It's not yeah. even a joke. <laughs> like they can be yeah. across the street from each other, and you're like, yeah. how do they do this? We, and now we, we know. We have Tim Hortons literally. Like there are, there are some places where there's four Tim Hortons on the four corners of the street, and you think you walk by it at first, and you're like, that's ridiculous, <laughs> and then you realize. That at rush hour in downtown core, where this is located, there are so many people going in so many directions and they have to, they only have a couple minutes to get their coffees or their coffee breaks or whatever. And they just flood this intersection and all four Tim Hortons are full and the Starbucks a block away, they're all full too. See, for those of you who don't understand, Tim Hortons is, um, Canadians life fuel we we yeah. cannot function without it I agree that and Canadian Tire oh, oh yeah tire. best place ever there eh? is second home I live Boy, there. get everything for your car get everything all the sports <clears throat> stuff there you can get some nice seasonal stuff all the kitchen garden they don't I know though there. Molly they don't know they have no idea what the kind of utility is to be found at a is Canadian there, Tire. Is there an American equivalent of Canadian Tire? Mm. Like, I think Target, Nothing. in oh, that it's like no, multi-department, but not even close <clears throat> to the types of things. In one, in one way, does Canadian Tire completely unraveled, unrivaled, is in its naming. Because here you are thinking, I'm going to the tire store. Mm -hmm. But it's anything but a tire store. I mean, there's a couple tires up in like the oh. auto department over there is over nothing there, a couple tires. there is nothing in the united states of america that has that kind of sandbagging going on like nothing <laughs> <laughs> it's like if AutoZone ended up having like kitchen supplies gardening mm. supplies mm. closets or their own <clears throat> their own internal currency yeah the whole 10 yards yeah oh yeah the internal currency i miss that so much they don't do it anymore. They have the point system now. Yeah, they've digitized. Lost... Oh no, man, that was like so colorful yeah. and and pretty. Yeah, yeah Just, like, the, the best thing was so so you would get you, your loyalty points back in this internal currency that was like five cents, ten cents, dollar, two dollars here and there, and they would you'd pay for your item even if you didn't get change. They would bring out a second cash drawer and count out bills to you, and you're like, this is amazing. And like yeah. dads would be like, hey kids, 
if you're well behaved, you can have all my Canadian Tire money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was what it's like what recycling was before recycling. Before, like, it was like you just had this Canadian Tire money that you could go buy whatever container the entire purvey to you, which was basically everything. Yeah. And like most kids would get their hockey pucks because they'd lose them on street hockey so and stuff many. like that. Like I remember saving up sixty seven dollars in Canadian tire money, which I had to keep in Tupperware containers because it was so many like five cent bills. And I bought <laughs> a CD Walkman and I stood there and counted each five cent one cent bill. You making it rain? Making it rain? Oh, it was amazing. Like but then it the came video, to a point had... where they stopped accepting the currency. Oh, what? that broke my heart. Yeah, <clears> like, <throat> like they would give you the money, and then all of a sudden, let's say you're like a dollar short, so you have like a dollar in Canadian Tire money. They're just like, oh no, sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't count. Oh. Everybody's like, then what the, what the hell are you giving this? It to has your store? store name on it. Don't tell me these things, man. That makes me so sad. So my child has been lost. Yeah. No, no, your childhood is safely protected yeah. in your childhood. And it shall not be spoiled by future generations, for they know oh. not what they. Right, they had no Canadian Tire money, and what they, they have no, they, call, they will never know, Molly. They, they will know. never it's know. It's a fob called Triangle now that you have to just yes, stand. Mm-hmm. Triangle mm-hmm. Rewards, and they will literally. It's like, hey, John, thanks for coming to Canadian Tire and shopping. We really appreciate your fifteen hundred dollar purchase. Here are your two points that we're going to give you for that. They are yeah. so cheap. They've become so cheap. It's sad. But you know, okay, so there's another Canadian habit that I can talk about for a second. Mm-hmm. Miles. You got miles for everything, man. You go to the, you go to the liquor store. Oh, no. It's like, is this going on some kind of miles? That's what they used to do. Miles. Oh, oh, air, yeah. miles. oh air miles. Yeah. Air miles. Yeah, air miles. For everything, air man. Miles. On everything. Absolutely. You want air miles? I got some air miles over here. Look over here. What do I got over here? I got some air miles. What is yeah, Well, some absolutely. air miles here. I've seen yeah. it. I've seen yeah, you go to like hockey air miles. Grocery stores we used to have, and you would get like 500 air miles for things, and you'd buy certain products just for the air miles. Of course, I remember. I've seen this. I've been to the mountain my, or the lake. My, my buddy's dad ended up. Like he accumulated some like crazy number. It was like almost. It was like 10 million air miles or something. Like this guy was able to go to Greece and back like easily like eight times without <laughs> paying for anything. Like it was it was just insane. <laughs> it was insane. Oh man, John, you you joined us right while well, we have to end. Tonight, That's fine. So. I just came to say hi. Hi, we John. love you, buddy. Love you. <laughs> oh, John, every time I see you, I just want to like pinch your cheeks and be like, hey, <laughs> "Look at you, buddy. Look at you." Like, I oh. love that face. Every time I see it, I get a uh, laugh. That's uh, good. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Aw. Well, thank you all for joining us tonight. We love you. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, throw some hearts down in the chat for Jim. We we want him to feel better. We want him to join us again. Um, and join us for uh, Lefty's Challenge. Uh, remember, hashtag... I want in the challenge or give me the challenge or <laughs> let's go challenge or go Molly hey, go. go. Um, go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Um, <laughs> put all that stuff down in the chat. We'll get you connected. We'll get you into the awesome, uh, the awesome challenge. It'll be incredible. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel. Feel free to join us for the business building book club Thursdays. Heck yeah. Say bye everyone.